Hello everybody, my name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use uh, certain sends like reverb and delay correctly in FL Studio. So first things first, you're going to want to get your thing that you, you want to put some uh, effects on. So I got a dry vocal here. So far away. Okay, so that definitely needs some uh, little spice. So let's click on it and route this to a mixer track. I'll just do seven. And now, um, the cool thing about having your reverb and your delay on a different track where you can just send it to is it gives you full access to uh, edit and change the wet side um, of the effect. So instead of just putting the reverb directly on the same channel, what I'm going to do is grab another channel in here that doesn't have anything routed to it. So let's say this one, 14. Here, let me rename this as my vocals. Okay, so 14, I want it to be over here with these, you know, and just to do that, all you got to do is right click on one, dock to right. All right, now I'm going to rename this vocal verb send. All right, so now what I can do is on, click on the vocals on the mixer track and I can directly route it to this send. Make sure it's still routed to the master though, because when you right click it, you have all these options like route to this track and route to this track only. Just do route to this track. Okay, so now it's going to um, have the vocals be outputting from the master and the vocal sin. But what we're going to want to do is on the vocal sin, just put a reverb and directly take the dry off. That way it is only the wet channel being played on that channel, whereas the dry is just being played through this one. You know what I'm saying? So let's hear it now. So far away. Now obviously that's a lot of reverb, so we can go in here and edit it. So far away. So far away. And the same thing applies for uh, putting delay on. So I'm just going to route this directly to my delay channel I already have here. And then I'm going to put delay three on and take the dry level off completely. So far away, so far away, so far away, so far away, so far away. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, an, another cool thing is, if it's like hitting too much and you're messing with some of the settings and you're still not right, when you click on that uh, that vocal or that track that you routed to the mixer originally, you can go over here and you see these little things. These act as volume sliders for that effect specifically. So if I turn this down, it's going to be less reverb. So far away. Same thing if I turn it all the way up, it'd be more. So far away. So keep that in mind. There's always different knobs and stuff that you can mess with. But yeah, that's pretty much it for, the, it for this video. I, uh, I hope this brought some value to you guys. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe because it really does support me keep going, keeping this whole thing going. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Till next time, much love. Stay safe. Peace.